Hi guys, Carbujaya here. I haven't talked about my brushless PCB motor project in a while, so here's a quick update of what I was doing and what I plan to do next. Since my last update I have been designing a PCB with an integrated motor driver. It looks very much like a dongle. I am in the process in transferring the code from the old Mac controller to the new one and make sure that everything is still working correctly, but it should be finished very soon. The only PCB motor I have tested so far has a 6 pole star configuration stator. So now I would like to design a huge board that has a lot of different PCB motor configurations so that I can easily compare one with each other. Having different configurations will allow me to find the best motor with the best dynamic torque, which is what is actually keeping me from putting this thing on a drone. <laughs> My current design can rotate a propeller, but when it starts ramping up to higher speeds, the torque would decrease, and it's losing its synchronization. So yes, by improving the dynamic torque of my PCB motor is what's going to make my PCB drone dream come true. Another thing that I would like to try out is to find out how different shapes and coil sizes affect the behavior of the magnetic field. I never actually measured the maximum speed of my PCB motor. This highly depends on the software control loop. So now that I am shifting to a new mic controller and have this one package design, I can test it much better. With regards to the mechanical, there is not actually much to improve. The only thing that is bothering me is that the 3D printed part is a little flexible, so it can easily bend. But this will probably occur on every plastic material in the IU, so I need to decide if I'm going to stick with a 3D printed rotor or shift to a metallic one. When I started working on this project, I limited the diameter of the PCB to 16mm, which is the same dimension as the smallest brushless motor available on the market. To make this work, I needed to reduce the track width and track clearance to the bare minimum, so that I could fit enough turns to create a sufficient magnetic field. Using less turns would probably end up in the coils being too inefficient, and the PCB would heat up too much. So by using the smallest clearance, the smallest track width and the minimum number of turns possible, I can say that it's practically impossible to reduce the diameter of this 4 layer PCB motor, but it is not impossible to design a 6 layer PCB motor. So that's the list of the remaining things that I would like to try out for this project. If you want to keep updated, please consider subscribing to this channel.